John Keeling. 62. Brewer. 44. Uh, I've worked for Wilson's Brewery in Manchester, which was closed in 1984, and I've worked since 1981 for Fuller's in London. Stylish and longevity. They last, they've lasted a long time. I started brewing way back in 1974 uh, when I got a job uh, working for Wilson's Brewery in Newton Heath in Manchester. Newton Heath uh, is the place where Manchester United first started to play football. My favourite Fuller's beer is Chiswick Bitter, which is only 3.5% strong. It's a great beer to drink at lunchtime because you can then go back and do some work. I always drink in the pub, so I like to drink cask, bitter, low strength, so that I can drink lots of it and still keep sensible. Red, Manchester United. I love those meaty flavours combined with beer so when you like we've just been eating some really nice ham with the beer I just like that that's picking up a piece of that and then just eating it and having a beer fantastic bitter goldings we at Fuller's always use pellet um, because it's so much easier and I think more consistent but nowadays, um, hops are packed so well and, and they're, they're refrigerated that, uh, that both are good. Both are good. Oh, it's, it's upcoming. It's, it's on the way up. And um, I, I think it's going to improve because there's so much enthusiasm for beer and so much thirst for knowledge. And I, I see that in lots of different cities around the world. I just think things will get better. The London Brewers Alliance Beer Festival at Fuller's in, on June the 22nd. I think the beer world now is so full of surprises because everybody's looking for different flavours and different ingredients. And I love the way, in actual fact, people are marrying the flavours of wine into beer now, but using grape must and things like that. I just think is there no end to this experimentation. But then again, I do just like to go home and have a simple pint of bitter. I love British beer because that's what I've been brought upon. Uh, but there's some fantastic German and, and Czech, Czech breweries. And I was over in uh, Prague um, recently and had some great beers. But I must mention Edge for being so, so nice. I think everybody's been influenced by some American breweries, you know, like Stone and Garrett Oliver at Brooklyn. And I, I just like, you know, it's, it's so much fun. You, you go to a city and you discover that beer and they become your favorite brewery till you go to the next city and you get another favorite brewery. So many. Well, I, I would always take a, a, a nice uh, cask beer and I would try and make it Chiswick Bitter because I, that's the beer I like drinking the most of and, and it's the beer that fits in with my lifestyle and, the, and, and talking to people and and you just be, can be sensible while you're still talking. Too, much, too, too many strong beers means you get drunk too quickly. Cass. A pros I think. I've recently just reread a book by Kurt Vonnegut called Sorter House Five. I do like uh, something like Dirk Bogard in, in those uh, uh, detective film noir films. I do like those from the 50s. They give you a lift someplace? Why? I'm a sociable type. They're expecting me at my office. Okay, Lippin. Okay, what? Just okay. I wondered when and how you'd get around to this. Yeah? Yeah, I expected something a little more poetic. Drink? <laughs> oh, now that's rather poetic. Will it be? Nothing? You know, I like documentaries, and I think Blue Planet was a fantastic documentary by uh, 
David Attenborough. A generation ago, the series The Blue Planet took us beneath the waves. Uh, it has to be The Fall, Manchester band, Mark E. Smith, uh, terrific band, great attitude to life, took no prisoners. I'd like to be Thor from the Avengers. Tea? I don't drink tea. Well, what do you drink? Not tea. I'd like to be the guy who invented IPA because I would now uh, be worth a fortune because I would have patented it. I, I love the British pub. And so what I would like to do is be a little like, little like Billy Pilgrim in, in, in Slaughterhouse-Five and I would like to travel up and down the time span of British pubs starting way back in say the 1600s and what they looked like particularly in London and see how they developed to what they are today. There's been so many because you pick up influences all the time and if you're a brewer and you go to another brewery you will pick up influences but my two main influences are, are my old boss, who was Red Strawry, who was the former head brewer of Fuller's, and the head brewer of Young's, Ken Don. Uh, one taught me really how to be a brewer in the brewery, and the other one taught me to be, how to be a brewer outside of the brewery. I think, um, you, you know, you, your parents have such a tremendous um, um, influence on you, I, and I was very lucky that my mother and father were very level-headed people. So, um, and it, it was my mother who got me a job in the first brewery I worked for, so it's my mother, I guess. Yes, of course I believe in luck. I think I've been tremendously lucky to, to do what I do and, and, and achieve what I've achieved. Um, without luck, I, I, I could have easily be a, be a, a tramp. Look. <laughs>